up yet. And my second expansion is up. Like when my second expansion is up, and this first one isn't is isn't even up yet. Then, like I don't have to fight. I can wait. I can wait a little bit longer, then then I should start being more aggressive because if I wait too long, Undeads can still win. If they have one expansion, even has two expansions, I mean Undeads can still win. I mean you you've seen games where Undeads have won versus human players that have five expansions and they have one expansion. You know they can still win, but. And the reason why I do not like going tanks, like a non-army strat on this map, because I think it's too small. Like, un un if an undead creeps the whole map, and you have like a level 1 Mount King, like, I think it's nearly almost impossible to win with like, like versus good undeads that have like, strong heroes, and you know, they creep the bottom of the map, and you only creep like one side of the map, and he's creep three fourths of the map. I think it's, since the map's too small, and you can't put up like, you know, like four or five expansions, I think... I think undeads and Nios now can like withstand like they can just outlast you with their hero levels and uh, just j just because the map's small and there's only limited gold mines. I mean, it's not really that smart to go like you know ten tanks on the strat and just base race the whole time. But uh, versus now on this map, I still I still do like um, you can get like two tanks in a ze zeppelin or something and like you know push the expansion with the tanks and then attack his main with your army or some shit. But you never, never, never really want to do, you know, the fucking, like, you know, you got, like, three heroes in one night, and then you, like, get two expansion mass towers, and then you just base race the whole game. It's not really that good versus Undead and Nine on this map. It's too small, nine of gold mines, nine of creep, nine of creeps. So, right here, like I said, like, I have two gold mines, his first gold mine, sec I have three gold mines, his second gold mine just got up. Um, this is when you start wanting to be a little bit more aggressive because if you if you wait too long, you're going like since my gold mines have been up for so long, and his 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 hasn't been up for that long, like he's he hasn't really had that too much of an advantage off of it yet. This is when you want to be more aggressive, and I get the mortars for you know. Oh God, I got my fucking Griffin web there. That was pretty sloppy. Um, mortars pretty much work against anything like. Later on in the game, I think I might have revealed his uh, main, but he's gonna get banshees later on in the game. That's when it's good to get, you know, mortars. Mortars are good versus towers, like you see right here. He's not mining gold off that gold mine right now because I'm doing that to his zig. He knows if he loses the zig too, he's gonna be out of food. So, um, you know, it's good for pushing undead expos. It's good versus fiends. Good versus statues. Good versus a uh, bombs. Oh, uh, D-Show, it's good versus ghouls, good versus, uh, it's pretty much like, there was, like, I would never get mortars on this matchup because no one ever got banshees, but once people started getting banshees, I just, I would get, like, five mortars, and the fights go a lot, a lot better that way. So, a mistake I had in this fight, I should have gotten another, probably another heal scroll, and maybe a health pot on my MK. Because that's that's the only that's the only way I'm gonna TP out of this fight if my TP if my MK is out of the battle or if I lose it. This fight would be over if my MK if I didn't stop my MK. But if I didn't stop my MK, would have died. So I have to TP. And the reason why I did fight that is because if you saw above his expansion right now, there's a D Hawk right there. That D Hawk clouded uh, his towers the whole time on that fight. So if I didn't have that D Hawk, then I probably wouldn't even fought that. Because you know, versus not dead on creep with a spirit tower and a cold tower. It's, even if even if you have a ten food advantage, it's not not a really smart way to fight. But the only reason why that fight didn't go the way I planned because my MK got too low. I staffed him and I had to leave because I don't think I wasn't confident in me winning that battle without my Mount King there. Um. So yeah, Shinji, what's up, man? I am getting criticized from a player that has negative 5 points in Ice League and only has 11 points in ICL. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's both these CG guys. Yeah, do you mean. Don't need knights? What the fuck are you talking about, house? God damn. Yeah, I did get too many gyros, but like, if you don't get any gyros at all, he's just gonna morph all his fucking destroyers in the fight. And then you're gonna be like, what the fuck? But you can still win with like mess breakers and griffins, even if they have like five destroyers. But the reason why it wouldn't work in this because he has a good ground army. 
a lot of that's a lot of mistakes on Dead's do nowadays is like they have a really good air army with gargs, but I mean if I have like a level three Mount King, level three Paladin, uh with a lot of breakers and griffins, like your heroes are pretty much gonna die because there's no ground to like make a wall for your heroes to not get surrounded and if you have all air, obviously destroyers can't attack breakers because breakers are magic immune. So um this game's pretty much still going my way. It's just you don't, I mean, if you saw as one expansion and you think that you're not going to win the fight, just TP out. It's, and that's not a big deal. Because you're still going to have a really, really big army. And hopefully I bring my Shredder. It's pretty embarrassing if I don't bring my Shredder. You should always bring your Shredder in, like, last fights. Yeah, I think I do bring him. Yeah, he's coming. Um, just so if you don't know, if you don't, if you don't play human, Shredder is fucking a four food unit. Uh, four food unit. I don't care if it grabs wood or anything. If you're not if you're not putting full use to a four food unit, then you're at a disadvantage. So late game when you have like 1.5k gold or more, you should always probably bring your Shredder for a second or even the last fight of the game. It's just a smart thing to do because it does so much damage, and he's just he's just another unit there to take damage and whatnot. And you're gonna see another timer here. I think I don't have enough morts in this fight because he comes with like his whole fucking ground army and they all have AMS. And um, another mistake that this undead does, he doesn't get a ne necropolis at his expo. Like, you don't need to get a necropolis like right when your expo is boating, but uh, like late on in the game, like mid game, like if he had a TP right there and he aim it, if he AMS early, God, my fucking Griffin got webbed again. See, right now my Griffins are gonna do shit versus all these units, so I just pop the TP because I need more Morts, and you know I still have two expansions. I killed his Gold Mine, so I'm just playing it safe right now. There's no point in taking that fight, even if you think you can like win that fight and you're still one percent sure. Like the only reason you should. I should, if I would have fought that, is for me getting like his Death Knight killed or something. Then I, I would have just stayed and fought it. I don't even care if I lost my whole my whole Griffin army. If his Death Knight's dead, like you can kill pretty much everything that Undead has. And the uh, time when I took an expansion, if you saw, I, I bring my Wood Peasants. No, I bring my Gold Peasants from my main. I think I think they're my Gold Peasants from my main because my Gold Mine ex uh, expired. Or bring them down and I explode there. So that's another thing for me to defend. If I put an expansion there, that's that's another thing for him to attack instead of pushing my other ex expos. So uh you know that's human one oh one. You always want to put up maybe another extra expansion when you're attacking. So when you're done with the fight, he has to go to that expansion and fight while you're still amassing units from all your other gold mines. So this is a less desperate attempt for him. He has like all his echoes. No, he did have his a close in that other fight. He has all his ghouls, just every unit that he possibly has is in this fight. And he doesn't have AMS on all his units, which is a mistake. I don't know if he's out of I don't know if he's out of mana or what. Then he has his I mean it's pretty much over, even if he had those destroyers morphed. My heroes are too strong. I have too many mortars. And have your mortars attack the banshees. If you see right there, I just killed all the banshees in like two volleys. And it's pretty much over. So you get breakers to kill heroes and fiends, griffins to kill griffins to kill everything pretty much, and mortars just to kill banshees. After banshees die, then you just a click and mortars mortars fucking rape fiends pretty badly. Mm, it's pretty much game over. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, oh, always in my audio, send me PMs for requests for my next one. Uh, send me a friend request on WCR, I will accept it. My email is on my WCR profile if you want to add me on MSN. And that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you liked it, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.